Hello, uh, my name is uh, Tumuhu Tawaku, uh, Tumko for short, and this is my father, uh, Tawaku Norpanzat Tawa, and uh, we come from Mongolia, and we represent uh, a community conservation uh, NGO in Mongolia. In Mongolia, and especially in the area uh, that we're doing work, uh, the local communities uh, approached us and uh, the issues have come to a point where they had to seek support and assistance. Uh, mostly it, this, these were environmental issues uh, because Mongolian nomads heavily depend on pasture lands and the scene has changed in the last 5-10 years incredibly. Uh, the rivers have dried up, uh, there's a major uh, illegal wood logging problem and also wildlife and uh, because Mongolians in the countryside live a uh, nomadic livestock herding uh, life uh, they are in touch in contact with wildlife and predators on daily basis so uh, <clears throat> starting from uh, retribution killing uh, and predators attacking the livestock is always struggle there and then uh, yeah so the, we got involved uh, to coordinate the local community to have a stronger presence and voice there because uh, local communities are there 24-7 uh, they live there especially uh, nomads and herders always grazing and going through the landscape so they know exactly where everything is uh, so they are the best informants, they are the best uh, monitors, uh, so ranges. So it's just important to turn them into the right area and uh, provide some guidance and support. It was interesting to hear some of our peers uh, yesterday and today speaking and then uh, someone mentioned uh, we all have preconceived uh, do's and don'ts and what works and what doesn't. But uh, my father and I come from very different backgrounds. I'm, I'm coming from banking and finance. My father is, uh, has been a military and intelligence officer all his life. So we have no idea about conservation wildlife uh, up to maybe four years ago. So for us this was an interesting experience looking at others and also just trying things through trial and error and sometimes we've witnessed certain small successes uh, that conservation experts would not really believe in so i think it's all about connecting the dots and uh, attacking the problem with uh, what you think is the best solution yeah and so we are learning uh, from all these other local protected areas, uh, domestically and internationally, from experts. So, whatever experience we've had so far, which has been four or five years only, uh, we'll be very happy if one person takes one point and that potentially helps them. So we're here uh, not to preach to others, but really uh, to take in information and uh, ask questions and learn.